What does a car engine look like from the inside? Well, most of us have never been inside one. But uh, here at uh, Sweden's biggest research lab for combustion engines, this is all in a day's work. Is this really a microphone? Combustion engines are everywhere in modern society. You find them in cars, trucks, ships, airplanes and power plants. But combustion engines are so complicated that still after 150 years, there's a lot to be learned in order to make them as fuel efficient and environmentally friendly as possible. New possibilities for intelligent control of the engines are also constantly emerging, thanks to the rapid development of electronics and computers. The research at the Department of Energy Sciences, Division of Combustion Engines, aims to understand and control the combustion in engines. Detailed information about the combustion can be gained by making part of the engine out of glass. Advanced laser and imaging technology is used to study reactions and flow inside the combustion chamber. Leading edge research in this field takes place here in Lund. An optical engine where part of the combustion chamber is made of glass is used to study the details of the combustion. In this setup, the top of the cylinder is uh, a glass ring and down here we have a mirror that makes it possible to photograph up through the glass piston top. By doing so we can see for example where the fuel is during the combustion. It's also important to understand the interplay between fuel and combustion such that for example biofuels can be used in the best way. Optimal combustion requires very accurate control of the fuel injection. For this reason, we measure and analyze, for example, the pressure inside the cylinder and use the information to control the fuel injection in the best way. The proof of success is provided by measuring fuel consumption and exhaust composition with advanced measurement equipment. Combustion engine research in Lund is mainly conducted by our PhD students and they are part of a research group consisting of approximately 30 people who study combustion in engines. The largest part of the research group belongs to the combustion engine division, but we have very active collaboration with the Division of Combustion Physics and the Department of Automatic Control, as well as with the divisions of fluid mechanics and heat transfer within our own department.